We were on our way to Jeju and ready to have the time of our lives. Little did we know we'd end up here. So we're heading to Wando now in our car. We had to drive from Dongtan to Wando, which is like across the entire country from north to south. And it's about four and a half hours, so Korea is pretty small. We're starting our bike tour again. And uh, Eugene's stuck doing <laughs> subtitles while we're driving to the ferry. Okay, we made it to Wando. How you doing, man? Good, good. Now Just we... to finish the editing, not the subtitles. So I feel so great. Now we have our bikes right here and we have to put the racks back on them because I didn't want to put the racks on while they're attached to the back of the car. So we're just going to get the bags sorted, get them all on the bike and then uh, hop on the ferry. Despite arriving two hours early, the staff told us we only had 20 minutes to get our bikes onto the ship. We were in a panic, and Eugen forgot that the bike rack was on the car when she closed the trunk. <laughs> Just parked our bikes, and Eugen smoked her head with the car. She's bleeding everywhere. Don't even know if it's okay. Rough way to start the trip. You okay there? Gonna survive? You're a tough girl, babe. Hey, it looks cool, babe. <laughs> You're a hockey player now. <laughs> oh. Bad rack. <laughs> so if you get the uh, the cheapest option on the Silver Cloud from Wando to Cheju, this is the kind of uh, experience you get. No window, just in the center. Just like that. Got the relax room right here. Some uh, massage chairs. There's a full on arcade. Apple Aid. Apple Aid. Let's put that on your bunk, babe. <laughs> I apologize to myself. It's not about. You're okay? Uh, oh, feels good. Just kind of exploring the ship right now. We don't want to stay in that little room when a pandemic is happening. It's, yeah. it's just a bunch of random people kind of shoved in a little room together. So it doesn't look like a good place to be. Oh, nice. That's what I'm talking about. That's much better. The ferry took about two and a half hours from Wando to Jeju, and it cost about $30 to get there. Made it to Jeju. Look at the beautiful weather over here. <laughs> We arrived in Jeju City at 6 p.m. and decided it was best to buy some groceries and find a spot to camp quickly before the sun set. But for the first time in over a month, we could finally add a new stamp to our collection as there was a stamp booth on the way. It's our first stamp in quite some time. Ta-da! <laughs> this is my passport. My own passport, okay? Jeju is a tropical island on the southeastern tip of Korea. It almost feels like an entirely different country with the volcanic rocks and palm trees everywhere. Its beauty had us in awe when we first arrived. We found an excellent camping spot and uh, we're happy to be here, eh babe? And look over there. We got palm trees. Oh, and an airplane. I was looking at nature, babe. <laughs> found out last night that was confirmed to have COVID so today we have to start our day going to get tested and asking the best thing to do because we have no idea so pretty unpredictable so far but 
I think we just have to be responsible right now. We packed up our bikes and set off straight away for the COVID testing center. Both of us were extremely nervous and it felt like it took eight hours to bike those seven kilometers. Eugene's solar panel fell off her bag, so I'm just uh, backtracking to go pick it up. Lots of hurdles today. Okay. Thank and, uh, you. And I just, she picked it up off the ground. He like went, he took it. So he I asked, took it? Oh. So oh. I asked him, uh, I said, check out photo video. So yeah. Yeah. And he gave oh. it to Thank you, man. Oh. Gotta wait like an hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> to me, like, it wasn't, it didn't hurt though. It was just like uncomfortable. Maybe because it's so sensitive. Ah, uh, probably. I think we have to leave. Oh, let's leave. Let's hope for the best. We're just gonna go to a hotel and wait for the result. Make sure we don't uh, spread this thing if we do have it. So that's, that's all we got. We'll see you in the hotel room. Yeah, it was a it was a super hectic day. We were yeah. both uh, kind of our minds were out of it a lot today. Yeah. Um, not able to think straight, kind of worried about a lot of things. Like maybe we're not making the right decisions. Hey, babe, we received a message. Oh. I got one on my phone at least. I'm not sure if you did too. Oh, to get Oh, not to. Wasa? Why don't you uh, read it? <laughs> <laughs> Scary, actually. 제주 보건소입니다. 제주 보건소 선별 진료소에서 시행한 코로나 검사 결과 음성 판정. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> But I might be positive still. Oh, no. So. Best luck to you, okay? <laughs> oh, I hope so. Let's see. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Unsa. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> we did it. Oh, babe. Oh. Worried so much. Oh. Now we don't have to worry about that. Now we can actually enjoy our adventure again. Let's explore Jeju. <laughs> Finally. Oh my god, I to get the oh. Feels good to be back outside again. So we are heading to Gunneung Beach and that is our favorite beach. All right, it's close to uh, another beach called Hyopje, which is also really famous. It's about 40 kilometers from here, not too bad. And uh, it's our first time riding like this in a while, so it should be fun. Let's go. fact check this but I've heard that the flight path from Seoul to Jeju is the busiest in the world and you can definitely tell because there's a new plane landing or taking off like every 10 minutes or so it might even be more like five minutes but it's pretty crazy how often it happens and also right now that uh, nobody can travel to other countries a lot of Koreans are coming to Jeju so it's definitely filled with tourists at the moment I want you Nice shot of a fence. I cannot explain. We're back where we uh, slept two nights ago at the campground. It's a lot hotter than we expected. And there's also a lot of people out and about. So uh, we're hoping to make it to Kumnung today, but not 100% sure. We just have to see how it goes.
we're starting to notice it's kind of a mix between bike path, riding on the road with the cars, and uh, really uneven sidewalks. So our bikes aren't touring bikes, right? So when it's really bumpy, kind of worried about the rims and the tires on our bikes. Other than that, the weather is perfect. It's exactly what you want biking. Pretty cloudy and uh, not too hot. It's so freeing to be back on the bikes for sure. This is probably something that's been going on for a long time for me, but I just love being on the move like this. Love moving around from city to city and exploring, so this is really exciting to be here. Not being on the bikes for over a month, we had one of the best days riding we've ever had in Jeju that day. We didn't bike a long distance or go very fast, but after being through everything we've been through this past month, and even these past few days, it was nice just to have a glimpse of hope and realize that it's possible to get back up on your feet after being knocked over. This'll be a day we remember for the rest of our lives.